Hello everyone and in this video we talk about how to do a 3D model of a packaging from Adobe Illustrator Dialine packaging design file in Cinema 4D. All we need is the plugin which named Fold My Design. It is a standard plugin for Cinema 4D Visualize version. So go to Content Browser, Presets, Visualize presets, tools and helpers, hold my design and hold my design. Now go to objects and you can see we edit this plugin here. So if you don't have it here, go to help, check for updates, wait a few seconds. And now you can download uh, this visualize version as you can see I already have it so it is in my history folder and if you don't have it just check this updates folder and check mark continue agreed and continue now we are in Adobe Illustrator and we need to delete all layers here except the dial line so we have the design file design layer just hide it this is the dial line it's the borders of the packaging design so just select all layers except the dial line and delete it Now we have only one layer and go to File, Save As, Adobe Illustrator and then Save As Illustrator 8 file. Press OK, go to Cinema 4D, File, Merge and open this file. Press OK. And now we have this packaging in Cinema 4D. Now we need to place this packaging horizontally. Then select all these splines and place in splines folder. As you can see we have the splines here in Fold My Design. Now go to Fold My Design tools, create or center and rotate splines, hold preview and press increase the size a bit of these numbers. Now let's start with number one for example it is the bottom of the packaging so it is the first number here and now we need to place all other numbers in right order so uh, it looks like it is connected with the number, the previous number, for example, number 1, then number 13. So select 13 and place after the number 1 in the second position because it is connected with the number 1. This line is the line of connection. Now we can place any of next numbers. 11, 15, 12, because all of these connected with the 13 number. 11, 15, 12. Then any of these numbers, 8, 2, 3, 7, 6, 8. Two, three, seven, six. Then go to the next part. It is fourteen. And then five. Then four, for example, or four five is not so important because both of them connected with the 14 
then 10 and 9 last then go and fold my design and create guides now as we can see our packaging in 3d it have some thickness now go to main settings in fold my design main settings and let's try to animate it let's check uh, it's works not so correct because this side need to be front and this blue side need to be inside of the packaging so we have not right rotation to fix this go to splines select all splines and rotate it 180 degree now go to fold my design again and tools and again press all these buttons now let's animate this packaging go to fold my design main settings and use this slider and we can see we have this box sometimes you have the problem for example one of uh, these parts rotating not correctly in this case we need to go to guides here and for example it's 14 part let's select 14 go to user data and then change rotation angle let's uh, create open it part of packaging uh, we have uh, this part not inside of packaging it's outside so it's a good case to show how to fix this problem now the 15 here we need to rotate it 180 percent as we can see uh, this is uh, not in right position so to fix this we need to change the rotation minus one and then go to the end rotation fix this line and now fix the top part uh, minus one So maybe here need to minus two. No, no, no. Maybe one point five, point seven, point seven looks nice. Now we have a uh, correct position of this part sometimes we have uh, the overlapping and how to fix this go to splines select these parts 15 and 14 we need to scale a bit change uh, the position of these points go to point mode splines find 14 and 15 and select all of these points 
but we now need to change proportions of this so deselect it now just scale it a bit so we can see that the, uh, the scale changing in packaging also so we need to scale just a bit so it looks uh, more realistic and no overlapping now in illustrator just press ctrl z to back all layers we deleted and open the design layer we need uh, the die line and design la layers just go to artboard tool and then increase artboard size perfectly connected with the die line like this one now we no need the die line more and now go to cinema 4d and add this design file in out material here color and here you can add it if you use another render like redshift or octane create another material and place it above this blue out layer the in material it is uh, inside of packaging so you can add another design here this file here and connect it with the material now as we can see it works not correctly and uh, that is because it is not right rotation maybe and change the rotation here and try to render it yeah now it looks nice let's check behind As we can see we have these overlapping parts this is fixing very fast go to guides and find these numbers number six and nine i think and select in guides this six number and change the rotation to 91 degree or 19.2 and then this 9 part again 92 same thing with the bottom parts 8 number 8 92 7 92 and then 13 92 and 1 and 92 also thank you everyone for watching this video press the like and subscribe to my channel